Hey guys, me, Rusty, 78609, Central Texas, USA. It is Christmas Eve, December the 24th at about, oh, 8.40 a.m., I guess. It's about 65 degrees, supposed to be in the mid-70s today and tomorrow. And then the next day, it's supposed to be in the 60s. And uh, so anyway, the weather's going to be nice for Christmas here in Texas, or Central Texas anyway. It's partly cloudy. Uh, it's really nice, actually. I'm fixing to go um, do my stretching, and then I will go do my walking. But anyway, I had a lot of comments, of course, uh, and I appreciate it. <clears throat> and one of the comments I had, well, you know, yesterday I did a video of me standing on the patio showing you all this luxury that I live in. And, uh, <laughs> I mean, really luxury, right? And, uh, you know, I, I live a full-time RV. I live in an RV. This is my home base in Central Texas. I go camping in a car. So if you're interested in RVing or camping in a car, check out my playlist on my homepage for RVing and Prius camping, car camping. Okay. Having said that, <clears throat> the comment was, how do I afford all this luxury? How do I afford my RVing or full-time traveling basically lifestyle uh well i'm 71 years old and i get social security that's that's the biggie that is 90 percent of it and i get uh, about uh oh i don't know uh i guess it's around 1200 a month and then i make uh 50 or so off of uh this and then i make a little money if i do beer and wine tasting events so but, you know, that more than covers all my expenses, actually. It does. Because, uh, you know, I don't have any rent. I got a payment on my RV of $130 a month and then a car payment of 275 <clears throat> So that's 400 a month. So that basically leaves me about 800 a month for other stuff. And, you know, gasoline in the Prius is virtually nothing. I, hard, I don't eat a whole lot. I don't eat out at all or rarely. And uh, so, you know, I get by quite well. I do. I do fine. So it, it's you know, it's not how much you make necessarily. Uh, it has a whole lot to do with how much you spend. You know, if you don't have any debt, uh, you can live quite comfortably on very little. And uh, anyway, having said that, uh, another thing I was going to mention was I get a email every now and then from Quartzsite. Uh, they have a, I, I guess it's like a chamber of commerce. It's a Quartzsite something. <clears throat> Anyway, I got on their email list, and I, I get emails from them because I was going to go out there a few weeks ago and spend a few, spend a few weeks. But, uh, you know, the weather was a little cold for me to go at that time. And th the weather here is right now. Is, is This is when you want to be here at my home base. So I'll be here through, oh, probably end of, end of March because the weather is just great here. So, you know, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. But anyway, what I was going to tell you, and you guys out there in Quartzsite that happen to stumble into this video, be aware uh, there are they are having a lot of theft uh, out in the areas where you guys are boondocking and other places uh, because uh, what happens and it's happened every year but apparently this year it's kind of an epidemic it's really bad uh, you know people are stealing the uh, somebody is uh, stealing generators uh, ice chests you know anything that's left outside and they got a new scam now. Uh, they go walking by the RV like they you know, run out of gas and they need some help. And then if there's nobody around and the door's unlocked, they just take you know, whatever's close to the door and then leave. And so people have lost some wallets and some ladies have lost some purses and stuff. So, you know, again, when you go camping, you're still dealing with humanity, okay? There's always that, that element of, uh, you know, that... There's always bad people, all right? So just be aware of it. You know, if you have a, a generator, chain it up. Uh, if you have an ice chest, put it inside before you leave. If you, when I say leave, I mean whenever you're going to leave the site of your campsite. I mean, I've gone camping all over in different places uh, in my Prius and in my travel trailer, and I've left it unlocked. And I knock on wood, I never had any problem. Uh, but with Quartzsite, because there's so many people that gather there at a regular time of the year, then the thieves gather at the same moment because, you know, you steal a, a $1,500 generator and you get five or six of those and you go pawn them somewhere or sell them to somebody for three to $500, you, you know, 
five of those will make you a, a, a good day's wages, right? <clears throat> but anyway, what's up today? Uh, I'm going to go do my walk in here, and then this is Christmas Eve, so I'll have to fix my chimney on my RV so Santa Claus can get down, and I can rob his ass, and, uh, and then I'll, I'll be Santa Claus. But anyway, so uh, thumbs up, guys. Uh, it's, uh, keep all your stuff safe and secure when you're RVing. Just remember that. And always lock the door. I know it's hard to remember, particularly if you're out in the boonies or boondocking and you don't, you know, you're not within sight of anybody and you just feel comfortable that nobody's going to bother your stuff. Well, nine times out of ten, you're right. It's always that one time, you know, except for that one guy, okay? But anyway, thumbs up, Carpe Diem, adios, bye-bye, bye, USA, made when you can. Take deep breaths, drink plenty of water, and stretch, 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 walk, 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 do all that good stuff, keep your health. Feliz Navidad, Merry Christmas. Get them, guys. Enjoy. Bye-bye.